Dear Program Director, ladies and gentlemen, in just one meeting, 70 years ago, Europe changed forever. A French minister, Robert Schuman, extended the open end of his friendship to his former enemies. In the Schuman Declaration, he proposed acts of solidarity instead of acts of hostility. And cooperation, not conflict. Now, Robert Schuman was a realist. His head had many beautiful ideas, but his feet were firmly on the ground. He knew that an idea alone is not enough. The spark of an idea will only have an impact when it starts the motor of solid plans and actions. He said that the European house will not be built all at once, but brick by brick, by concrete acts of solidarity. That day, he proposed the first brick. And this is what we have done ever since, building brick by brick, acts of solidarity, acts of cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, you are a key part of this tradition. Over 900 participants today from 30 countries, from public sector, private sector, non-profits, coming together to discuss concrete acts of solidarity and cooperation. Robert Schuman would be proud. Over 2,000 partners from more than 200 European regions have been cooperating thanks to this Interreg program. These partners are trying to find solutions to common challenges they face, such as how to reduce the carbon footprint of targeted cultural industries, or how to improve energy efficiency through smart grids, or how to foster the digital economy in rural communities, or how to support enterprises to reap the benefits of digital innovation, the learning resulting from such cooperation can play an important role to achieve policy improvements that take us closer to the desired green and digital transitions. I trust that Interreg Europe could also help regions to exchange experience and build capacity in the health sector through promoting cooperation among relevant regional and local public bodies. In this particular field, it is good to know that the program is already supporting cooperation and learning around issues such as innovation in medical technology and the provision of health services in rural and remote areas. Health will be a key priority in the coming years, where we will have to draw the lessons from the current crisis. Today, more than ever, we need solidarity we need cooperation. The crisis has reminding us that we will not find solutions by looking inward. We must look outward. We will not find solutions alone. We must work together. On the 27th of May, we in the European Commission took an unusual step. We proposed to use our excellent credit rating to borrow 750 billion on financial markets. This is unprecedented. We will, we will use the money to respond to the immediate crisis, to repair the economy, and to promote a long-term recovery. Cohesion policy will play a key role. We will be in the vanguard, the first wave of support. As you know, across Europe, we are already providing first support on the ground moving money to buy ventilators and protective gear and to support small and medium enterprises, teleworking and so on. In the proposals of 27th of May, we get a 55 billion euro top up to establish programs and the boosting of the Just Transition Fund to 40 billion. So ladies and gentlemen, in this context, your discussions today are crucial. Extraordinary times call for extraordinary actions and for us to be extraordinary people. I encourage you to take inspiration from that extraordinary European, Robert Schuman. 
head full of ideas, but feet firmly on the ground. Concrete actions of solidarity, concrete actions of cooperation. Remember, this is the spark that changes the continent. I wish you a fruitful discussion and, of course, good health to you and your families.